Reluctantly, our post-impressionist hero in a half Nelson, Jim Sweeney. A march, 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 march. That's what we hang gliders do. March, 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 march. You certainly would too. We glide all day, we have such fun. It's great fun by the pound. Until we forget how to land and hit the bloody ground. So away you go. Put your hand up here, Bavaria. Yo, everybody, let's talk sheep. <laughs> Sheep's come in lots of different sizes. <laughs> Little, middle and big. I like stroking the big one. <laughs> yeah, get down and boogie with a man. Shearing is a lot of fun. I often shear my entire body. <laughs> Some of those sheep play really hard to get. <laughs> I think that speaks for itself. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a good word of advice. It. Yes, I do. The secret ballot in my pocket, son. I'll get it myself. Oh my God! Really, him? He must be our new PM, unless he dies. I've got the money. He's in for a big surprise. <laughs> Gotta cut this tongue, I'm a going. You're gonna be my replacement. I'm the Ant Man, sing it down. You're the PM, the new one, C. No, no more of me. I'm going up to see my makeup. Tell me about your problem, then, boy. Mm. I don't think I will. Well, I'll tell you this and I'll tell you that. I'm very, very scared of a very big hat. I'm scared of a hat. I'm scared of a hat, is me. I've been scared since I was a little boy. It's even worse now. Oh, joy, oh, joy. I hate those hats. They scare the life out of me. Is this a quite big problem? Yes, it is so very big. It'll probably be with you until you're dead. I know why you hate hats so much. I know why it is true. It is because you've got a funny head. So this is what you need to do, my son, before you go. Gather wear a chapeau. Come on, crack, George. I know you've done this job. You've got blood all over your hands. Yeah, well, of course I've got blood all over my hands. Yeah? Yeah, because I, I worked down a slaughterhouse, didn't I? Uh, like, all, most of the day. And, and that's what I was doing. You've got an axe in your back pocket, George. Yeah, well, we, you know, it's been very cold these days. And, and the cows, I mean, they're going to get through the meat. A TV game show. Okay, they're gonna get through yeah. meat. What else was there? Meat, meat. There was meat. There was meat. There was bones. Meat. There was bones. There was bones. There was gristles. There was gristles. Gristle. 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 There was gristles. There was gristles. There was a lot of blood. A lot of blood. A lot of blood. 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 I fully suspect you did this crime. I know you did it, son. Yes, you're the only one. Yes, you are definitely the only one. You killed this man and several others, including two of my brothers. I'm taking you down to the nick, because you make me sick, sick, sick. <laughs> OK, um... All right, let's... <laughs> let's do a... I thought, I thought I'd save the voice on that one. Yes, it's, uh, What for, though? Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> TV advert. Hello, George. Yes. Oh, look at all that blood on your hands. How are you going to get that off? I don't know, you know. <laughs> and the worst part of it, I've got this blunt axe as well. Just what am I going to do? Well, we can help you with new. Clean the blood off and sharpen up the axe. You're going to the gang leader to be told what's happening. What's the scam, boss, then? Yeah, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. What's, what's wrong with your mouth? Don't give me that. I'm going to stomp, stomp, knock it, knock it. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Right, go all the gear here, go all the gear here, right? <laughs> right first thing you've got to do, right? Make sure you're well disguised by uh, <laughs> Maurice, right? Put that on, right? See, just got, you, you stick down, you stick down, right? Brilliant, so, boss! That's <laughs> back. Oh, who are you? I don't know who you are! Brilliant, excellent! Boss! 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 What? It's me! It's you! <laughs> oh, blimey! As if you're in the room. I'll be, uh, I'll be wearing these. I'll 
I'll be wearing, uh, I'll be wearing his cap. I'll be wearing a gun like that. Uh, they'll think it's just a funny moustache. And then I'll pull the gun on them and say, ah, oh, it's a gun, not a moustache. Oh. Is that you? Yes! Oh, it is. Oh, no, it's amazing. So, gun for the moustache. Gun for the moustache. Oh, pull <laughs> What are we going to do with these? With the, with the, with the blue knickers. <laughs> blue knickers. All oh, right, with these. These, I'll be wearing these on my, on my head. You see? Right. I'll be, I'll be going straight on with these. See? They'll be just going on. Be going on there. <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh, and I'll think, uh, I'll think I'm from some weird religious set. And then you take the dynamite, take the dynamite, right? take the dynamite. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, I don't like that, don't like it yet, don't like it yet. Who are you put on side? Didn't they? Look, I was in the right. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, it's you, you're back there, fucking beards, my leg. And now I've got this here. I mean, you, I put, you put on me shades, right? Just in case they've you know, spotted a thing on me head. I'll get rid of that quickly. Put on me, put on me dark glasses. Uh, loose some blood in me ears. And then <laughs> take that off again. Oh, what do you think? Now, it's the plan. I've got a plan here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, I've got a plan right now. Oh, what, 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 what about the secret microchip which is in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, what a fool I've been. That mi where did I put that microchip? It was in that pocket, I remember. Is it that one? It was a deep one. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. That will do it now. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, 93 points to Jim and Steve and Tony's been shop and doing it as a sort of film noir, narrating for each other. Where you go. <sighs> Hi, Bill. Come to place a bet. I knew he'd come to place a bet. He had the money in his hand and he was whistling the thing tune to Sports Night. Yeah, sure, I was whistling the speed of Thor tonight. <laughs> sure, I've been drinking that day. It's been a long kind of day for me. Suddenly, the old Bob next to me started doing the most perfect impression of Michael Jackson I'd ever seen in my life. I didn't know what he was trying to prove, but I waited and listened. I impressed him with my impression of Michael Jackson, but I could see he was feeling strange. He started to pirouette on the spot and wink at me. <laughs> oh. Suddenly, I got my knickers in a twist. At this point, I placed a Yankee. I knew Bob didn't like me placing Yankees, didn't like me betting at all. That's why he started touching himself provocatively. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, you're gonna bet a Yankee, are you? I loved it when he betted Yankees, because then I could touch myself provocatively. <laughs> Just at that moment, he looked at me... passionately. <laughs> wow! Bob did that to me sometimes. I knew the only way out of this betting shop was to get him back to my place as soon as possible. Just at that moment, though, he spontaneously combusted. <laughs> well, we can't wait for that. Thank you. Excellent. Now we come to a scene with a prop. Uh, this is for Tony and Paul, and they're going to just have to act out a little scene, but incorporate in there. Uh, you've got to sing some sort of advice to him. So away you go. This is with Richard Raj. Hello. Hello. Tell me, what crime did you commit, and how can I help? <laughs> Well, I will tell you this, cause you've got a nice face I went and robbed Buckingham Palace, that's what I did I stole the Queen's crown The Queen's crown? She was well cheesed off, she was in fact She was extremely annoyed and hit me all over town Don't be worried about your stay in prison Nobody bears you any malice <sighs> I went there and checked with the Queen. She wants you to come back to the palace. Oh, bring all your friends, your lovely friends, especially the one called Georgie, because she wants to see him do again what he did to that little corgi. 